Hey guys, welcome back to another week of Backyard Bible Camp. I'm so excited for this week. Yeah, Calpunga. Yeah, I can't wait. We had so much fun last week. Yeah, canoeing. That was my favorite part. It was Seriously. so fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I love the Jesus story about his birth. Christmas. Yeah, that was so cool. Uh, Christmas is my favorite because Jesus was born. The waves are the best that time of year. True. <laughs> It's a little cold, don't you think? Yeah, that's what wetsuits are for. All right, all right. Hey, okay, you guys ready for our daily prayer? I yeah. am. Sweet. Yeah. Do we have anything that we want to pray about? Or um, any prayer requests? Definitely that missing camper. Oh, yeah, yeah we, we gotta really find, find him. Him. And Tough. that the banana didn't kidnap Henry. That would be a yeah, plus. We should pray about that. Yeah, and for safety mm. around camp, that's always good. Yeah, always safety around camp. Okay, okay. okay. I, feel, I feel pretty good. Okay. You just bow your head yeah. to Dear God, we just come to you in prayer right now. We pray that um, that you can bless us at summer camp and this summer, that you can just be with us and like, just calm our hearts and let us learn and grow and just grow closer to you. God, we want to lift up a few prayer requests. Uh, our missing camper, Henry, we still have search teams out looking tirelessly for him, so we just pray that you protect him and keep him safe and, and comfortable wherever he may be. God, we just pray that that this all these thoughts and scared feelings we have about the worst case scenario that he was kidnapped by the banana, God, I just pray that you take these things off our heart and you just calm our hearts. Thank you so much for letting us gather together for a day and just let us stay safe this week and every week, and let us always remember you. We love you so much. In your name I pray, amen. 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 Okay, I think we should do roll call now. Yeah, that's oh, first yeah, on our yeah. list for today. So, Reagan, Ava, Charlie, Elizabeth, John, Benjamin, Owen, yeah. Reynolds, Council, Anna, Sarah, Rachel, and we're still missing Henry. Oh no, we better go look we for him, check else. the search party. Yeah, we could yeah. join the search party. Yeah, let's but, do that. I mean, we don't have that much time. We're going to go bird watching later. Today. Oh, yeah, we are I going bird watching. Wait for our it's schedule today. It's going to be awesome. Yay! Good. Okay, well, let's get started now that most everybody's here. Yes, okay. Yay. <laughs> Oh man, all that looking for Henry got me tired. But did you guys see that bird up in that tree that I spotted? That was I did really see that. Cool. Was it's, that a robin? Yeah, it looked like a robin. <laughs> wow. So cool. Yeah, super yeah. red. But you know, that a perfect transition into what we're doing later today with bird watching. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up bird watching with my grandfather and he taught me that you could do it anywhere, uh, at home or like walking around the neighborhood. But also we loved going to state parks and national parks just to see animals and be quiet and spot things and go for walks. So. Join us in tranquility. Today we're going to go bird watching. That sounds like so much fun and good thing the other counselors are still looking for Henry so we can take the campers and yeah. go do some bird watching. I have a feeling we'll find him pretty soon. I do yeah. too. Yeah. Can't wait. Okay, let's find some more robins. I don't see any birds. Wait, what? Who is that? Oh my goodness, it's Henry. Hey. Our missing camper. Yeah, put that down. Okay. Oh my gosh, Henry, we found you! Where have you been this whole time? We've been I searching mean, for you every single day. I we really had a search thought that. Team. We, we thought, thought you were goners. I've just been eating bananas. Wait. I thought of the big banana kidnapped you. I no. am the big banana. What? what? It was a disguise the whole time? The whole time. Crazy. What? So oh, you've just man. been here? What? Are we on camera? Did we just get pranked? Oh, I think yeah. we did. There's a camera right there. Well, call off the search party oh, now. Oh, you better call them. Yeah, that's right. Looking. They are just searching tirelessly. Oh my okay. goodness. Right. Well, anyways, well, we're going bird watching. Do you want to come? Yeah, you can join us. All right, come on down. We'll go bird watching. Look at them all. 
Ah, they're geese. Oh, no. Is this enough bird watching? Yes. Oh, man, it was so hot outside. I'm so glad to be in. I know, but the bird watching was super fun. So I'm glad fun. we saw all those birds. Yeah, I kind of like at least was so cool. What was your favorite bird we saw? Oh, gosh. Um, I really liked the red one, the robin, oh, I think. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think we saw a blue jay. Oh, oh my yeah. favorite was definitely uh, the gray-footed hawk. Wow, that wow. was the yeah, that was Did we see top an of my eagle? List. Did we see an eagle? I think we might have. Yeah. Right? yeah. The one well, that was at Hendrix Avenue? Yeah, it was yeah. far away. It looked like an eagle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Nah, we'll see. All what right. Fun. What a fun day. Yeah. Well, now we're going to talk about some Bible skills for this week. Yes. So our first one is going to be associating specific people of the Bible with specific books. Hmm, gotcha. Yeah. So like Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Yes. Who yeah. wrote the story of Jesus. Yes, and they're yeah. so important. And then they talk about... Um. <laughs> Jesus and Jesus' life. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's so easy to remember, especially yeah. because a lot of the books of the Bible are people's names. So right. it's either like from their perspective or mm -hmm. something related to them. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, for our next Bible skill this week, it's going to be reciting Bible books in order. Mm -hmm. And so it's really important to begin to know some of the books in the Bible in order and to know how to pronounce the names of them. Yeah, I remember when I was in third grade Sunday school, we learned all the books of the Bible in order. And then after we learned them, we got a new Bible so we could practice finding things in order. In yes, order yeah, and it makes it a lot easier if you know some of the books and where they are when you're opening your Bible to read it. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember I had a family friend and the mom, she had a song that she would sing to memorize all of the books yes. in order. There, and I was always jealous. I wish I had learned it. Yeah. yeah. Well, maybe our campers could work on learning that song. You guys yeah. are gonna have to teach me. Yeah. Okay, and our last Bible skill of this week is going to be about the message of the Bible. So oh, it's really fun. important to remember that the books in the Bible and the stories in it help us learn about God's message about himself and how he can rescue us and transform us. Yeah. 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 I um, remember, well, I'll go first. I remember learning about how all of the books of the Bible are true and like yes. all of them point towards the same story about Jesus, about yeah. God and himself. Yeah. And they help us learn more about the three, the tr Holy Trinity. Do you remember what that is? Yeah, God, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit. Yeah, awesome job. Okay, what's next on our schedule? We're gonna do the Bible verse of the day. Oh, yay, cool. my favorite. Yeah, let's do it so right here. I'll read okay. it and then you guys repeat. Yeah, okay, gotcha. Okay, it's Luke 22, 44 through 46. Okay, Luke, Luke 23, 23, 44, 44 through 46. 46. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land. It was now, now about, about the sixth, sixth hour, and, and there, there was darkness, darkness over, over the, the whole land. land. Until the ninth hour, while the sun's light failed. Until the ninth hour, until the sun's light failed. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. And the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Then Jesus, calling out with a loud voice, said, and then Jesus, Jesus calling out, out with a loud voice, voice said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. Father, Father into, into your, your hands, hands I, commit I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. And, and having, having said, said this, he breathed his last. last. That's it. That was Good great. Job, I love that yeah. verse. Okay, so this week our Bible story is about the crucifixion of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So Pontius Pilate actually wanted Jesus to be killed because he, a lot of the citizens there did not believe that he was the son of God. Mm, yeah, mm -hmm. Pontius Pilate was the Roman person in charge, right? Yes. And I know Judas, who is also Jewish, like with Jesus, Judas sold Jesus out and to the Pontius Pilate, the Roman leader. Right, right. Who wanted him. Yeah, so next Judas betrayed him and then they put Jesus on trial with Pontius Pilate and he, it was decided that he was going to be killed and crucified on the cross. Mm -hmm. So then after the horrible suffering that Jesus went through on the cross, darkness fell over the whole entire land. And then they took him down and buried him in the tomb and put the huge stone over the opening stone. Wow. Yeah, I guess yeah. we'll have to come back next week and see what happens next. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's I think a there crazy might be story. something, yeah. something even crazier. Something even crazier. What could be crazier than the sun going out and him being buried in a tomb? I mean, that sounds like he's dead. I guess we'll have to find out. <laughs> okay.
Okay, so that, the darkness falling over the whole land and our story about the crucifixion of Jesus reminded me of this science experiment that you guys could do at home. And it's about, it's like replicating a solar eclipse. Oh, gotcha. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so cool. all you're gonna need is a piece of cardstock paper and some scissors and tape and a pencil or just something to glue onto the paper to hold it straight. So after you're done using your materials to make a moon replica, you go inside a dark room and grab a flashlight and um, shine it in front of the moon so that you can see the shadow that it creates and the darkness. Yeah. Yeah, so let's go do it. Yeah, let's go. Sounds okay. great. Hey guys, so this is how you set up the experiment. You're just gonna grab your flashlight and face it towards the wall and then use your moon and slowly bring it across. You can see now it's really dark inside of here. And then you keep going and you can see how the eclipse starts to get smaller and smaller and then there's more light and it goes back to normal. Hey guys, I'm Kyle, your camp counselor, and today I'm reading from the Jesus Storybook Bible it's in the rain. rain. So the story is the sun stops shining on page 303. So you're a king, are you? The Roman soldiers jeered. Then you'll need a crown and a robe. They gave Jesus a crown made out of thorns and put a purple robe on him and pretended to bow down to him. Your majesty, they said. Then they whipped him and spat on him. They didn't understand that this was the prince of life, the king of heaven and earth who had come to rescue them. The soldiers made him a sign, our king, and nailed it to a wooden cross. They walked up a hill outside the city. Jesus carried the cross on his back. Jesus had never done anything wrong, but they were going to kill him the way criminals were killed. They nailed Jesus to the cross. Father, forgive them, Jesus gasped. They don't understand what they're doing. You say you've come to rescue us, people shouted, but you can't even rescue yourself. But they were wrong. Jesus could have rescued himself. A legion of angels would have flown to his side if he'd called. If you were really the son of God, you could just climb down off that cross, they said. And of course they were right. Jesus could have just climbed down. Actually, he could have just said a word and made it all stop. Like when he healed that little girl and stilled the storm and fed 5,000 people. But Jesus stayed. You see, they didn't understand. It wasn't about the nails that kept Jesus there. It was love. Papa, Jesus cried, frantically searching the sky. Papa, where are you? Don't leave me. And for the first time and the last, when he spoke, nothing happened. Just a horrible, endless silence. God didn't answer. He turned away from his boy. Tears rolled down Jesus' face, the face of the one who would wipe away every tear from every eye. Even though it was midday, a dreadful darkness covered the face of the world. The sun could not shine. The earth trembled and quaked. The great mountains shook. Rocks split in two until it seemed that the whole world would break, that creation itself would tear apart. The full force of the storm of God's fierce anger at sin was coming down on his own son instead of his people. It was the only way God could destroy sin and not destroy his children whose hearts were filled with sin. Then Jesus shouted out in a loud voice, it is finished. And it was, he had done it. Jesus had rescued the whole world. Father, Jesus cried, I give you my life. And what a great sigh, he let himself die. Strange clouds and shadows filled the sky, purple, orange, black, like a bruise. Jesus' friends gently carried Jesus. They laid Jesus in a new tomb carved out of rock. How could Jesus die? What had gone wrong? What did it mean? They didn't know anything anymore, except they did know their hearts were breaking. That's the end of Jesus, the leader said. But just to be sure, they sent strong soldiers to guard the tomb. They hauled in a huge stone in front of the door to the tomb so that no one could get in or out. Thanks, guys. Wow, this week at Backyard Bible Camp was so fun. Yeah. Um, I'm so glad we finally found our camper, Henry, yes. that we've been yes. looking for the so whole time. Um, yeah, that banana costume. That was scary. Yeah, very. Really I mean, I guess our prayers were answered. Yeah, our yeah, prayers we were, were answered. Right. Thank God. Yeah. Well, and the Bible story today was kind of sad, but I'm really excited to see what happens next week. I thought it was yeah. really cool. About the crucifixion of Jesus, but I do have a good feeling about next week, yeah. so I, I can't wait. Happens. You think you don't have it? Yeah. What? Well, we'll have to find out. <laughs> and so. I'm
Oh my gosh, the bird watching, I almost forgot. Oh, that was so awesome. Yeah. Did yeah. you like that, Henry? Yeah. Okay. Well, and the experiment was so fun. That, that was, was fun. Really cool. well, that was a cool example. But I hope that you guys do the experiment and do some bird watching on your own, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. If you're bored. Yeah. Have a great week, guys. Thanks for coming to Summer Camp. Bye. Thank you.